오늘은 2019년 매니 파케어 그리고 에드리언 브로노의 경기전 인터뷰를 준비했습니다. 10 out of 10, uh, it's, for me it's uh, number 8, number 7, 8, like that. You know, a lot of people when they, they talk about your, your, your best assets, they talk about your footwork, your angles and stuff like that. What do you personally think is the best thing you do in the ring? I think the, the coordination, footwork and, um, and um, throwing a solid punches. Can you tell the difference, though, being older? Like, I mean, I'm 45, and I can tell, you know, my back hurts a little bit, my knees hurt. Like, can, can you feel the difference physically, or, or do you really still feel like you, you, you were when you were 20? I, I don't feel like that. Um, I mean, um, I, I'm okay. I, I, feel, I, I feel nothing. That's why I'm so thankful to God for giving this, uh, this strength, this good health. Because they said when you reach at age 40, you can feel back pain and like that. You know. Business like that, yeah. but I don't feel that. I mean, um, you know, God is good. I don't feel that. I'm so excited, and even without boxing match, without a scheduled fight, I'm <laughs> eager to, to work hard. Not not in boxing, but I, I play basketball uh, almost every day, four hours every day. <laughs> Man, <laughs> shoulders okay and everything. Yeah, no yes, shoulders okay. The guys in the PBC, Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, you know, all these guys are about 30, right around that age. They're 10 years younger than you. They're hungry to get the level of success that you've had. How do you keep, at, you know, training at the level that these guys are training at to try and get to your spot? Oh yeah, training is not a problem. Uh, we did uh, what we did in in, in the past, um, ten years ago, fifteen years ago. Training, we did this this uh, training camp. We still uh, did the same training uh, routine, uh, but like I said. We give the body time to recover. Manny, when you're 20, you think 40 is old, and you think, I'm not going to fight that long. When you were 25, did you think you'd be fighting at 40, or, did, or when did you think you would end when you were young? You know, um, I will tell you this. When I was 20, when I was 25 years old, I'm not thinking my, I'm not think. I'm really not thinking that myself, I'm still fighting in, at the age of 40. But I'm not thinking also that at age of 40, I, it's just old, old for me. Because uh, it depends how you discipline yourself, managing your, your, your body. I think even at age of 40, you can still, you can still fight. You but the thing first. is, uh, but thing is, the problem is, especially when you become a, a champion, when you reach your dream of become a champion at age of uh, 29, 28, 30, you know, later, later, later time, later years at your age, like at the age of 35, you become lazy, you know, I get that old, I'm already a champion, and then I experienced that, so I think uh, I make, you know, I take it easy right now, so that's uh, some of uh, uh, athletes. Do you think Broner's a disciplined fighter? I cannot, uh, you know, uh, I cannot uh, give a comment for himself and uh, other people. I just to myself only. Tw 21 years ago, <laughs> maybe tw 21 years ago, you won your first world title as a flyweight. What do you remember about that night? And did you ever expect that you'd be fighting 147 pounders, 154 no. pounders? No, no, I never imagined. I never imagined that I can fight a 154 pounds against Margarito. When I started in boxing, I will tell you this. I was 16 years old, and, and I'm applying a license, applying a license for a professional boxing. But they they told me, where is your birth certificate? You cannot turn professional until you are age, you are 18 years old. I was 16 years old, and I said, I'm 18 years old, mom. I'm <laughs> I'm 18 years old, mm -hmm. and then uh, I just turning 18 years old, December 17, and my, my fight is January 25. 1995. <laughs> then I just turning um, 18 years old. Let's see him and then, and then. Oh, where's your birth certificate? 
in that time we don't have uh, airmail or email or yeah. phone so oh mom can we uh, just to follow the the, the birth certificate because I, I, I will get my birth certificate in Mindanao which is um, far away in the province mm -hmm. fight mom is just next this this month January 25 so I need oh, like wow. to get the license because but the, the birth certificate will, will follow <laughs> get, get. and then uh, they give me a license oh my god but I have a problem when uh, we in the minimum weight is 105, right? Yeah. 105 mm -hmm. at the professional. But my weight is for 98 pounds. 98? Wow. 98 pounds. <laughs> wow. For your, for your pro <laughs> 98 pounds. So wow. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, okay. I will put a heavy me metal in my, in my brief. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Did you make yeah, weight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course. I mean, I mean, <laughs> 100. No, 100. No. You told them your birth certificate? Did they ever ask you? No, when, when I fought, after the fight. Are you really 38? The <laughs> <laughs> after the fight, the, the game management board, the commission, they forgot. Because they, they saw how I, how I fight. Oh, they like me. <laughs> they like me. You're good. You're good, boy. You're a good fighter. Like, Thank you, mom. Thank you. And then they forgot it. They forgot that my birth certificate is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I turned professional at 16. At age of 17, I become an uh, Asian champion. At age of, uh, of 18, I become a world champion. Age of 18. So that's fight, that fight in, in, in Thailand. What do you remember about winning that first title when you were 18 years old? I was underdog. I was underdog. Nobody cheered for me because they think that I I, I am a kind of opponent that won a fight for the champion of Thailand, mm -hmm. but I knock him out. <laughs> 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 I can fight anybody and 147. I tried to 154, but you know, when I beat Margarito and then the WBC asked me, are you going to defend your your your, your junior middleweight title? <laughs> no, give it to the never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's too much for me. Right. <laughs> what did it feel to be hit by what did it feel to be hit by a 154 pounder? Um, and do you feel like that <laughs> makes it so fighting these welterweights doesn't feel as amazing. Uh, I, I I survived that fight. I mean he was a heavy. lot heavier too after the weight. The night of the fight I was 140 uh, 48 pounds and Margarita 165 pounds. <laughs> That's why when the WBC, the commission asked me, are you going to defend your title? No, never mind, give it to them. <laughs> I'm going back to 147. <laughs> what did it feel like to get hit by a guy that was that heavy and that much bigger? Man, I can carry the, the punches, but the thing is, uh, after the fight, you, you can feel something, you know, um, it's too much. Even is that it's a, that's high for me. My recognition. <laughs> Andy, do you think fighters today are different than when you were coming up? Like, like do they have it easier? Is it just as tough? Um, there's some, but you know, boxing is still the same. And how you prepare, uh, if you pre uh, if you work hard, then the fight will be easy. If you don't work hard, then you will suffer in the ring. Mm. Mm. That's the, the principle of boxing. Mm. Do, do you feel like guys are more risk adverse these days? They kind of take the easier fights? I mean, you you came to America as a late substitute to fight La Duaba yeah. on short notice. You remember that? Mm -hmm. um, do you feel like that's something these guys aren't really willing to do at this level these days? Some of those, but not all of them. I mean, not all boxers. It's about how you prepare, how you prepare for the for the fight. Because for me, I don't consider myself as a the best boxer or the best style in in, in, in boxing, you know, in, in this sport. But but I work hard. I punish myself during training. If my fight is 12 rounds, ask my 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 coaches. My, you know, I did every day like. 28, 30 rounds, or 33 rounds. Sometimes 30, before when I was young, 36 rounds every day. And fighting for 12 rounds. So the, the Barrera fight, the Barrera one, look at, threw, I, I threw a lot of punches from first round to 11th round. I didn't feel uh, tired. The same, the same speed, the same, 
the same combination, the same throwing punches, more punches throwing at, at the later round. Because I on that on that fight, I work every day 36 rounds. And the fight is 12 rounds, so it's easy. Do you think that's why you're still fighting and, and some of these guys that you fought, Miguel Cotto, uh, Eric Morales, all these guys are retired and maybe didn't fight till 40, that you just worked harder than some of these guys? Uh, it's hard to it's hard to compare myself to anybody. I mean, uh, I don't know what their what their feeling is. If, if they feel something in their body, that's you know <coughs> that's what we don't know. Like I said, uh, even me, if I feel something, even a small something that I feel in my body, then I will I will not continue fighting. I know you're not thinking about Mayweather next, but when when you did pick Broner for your next opponent, did did you look at his style? <laughs> and get kind of reminded of Floyd and, and say, yeah, let me get this guy. When you pick Brunner, it's um, something you... Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I mean did, 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 did it just kind of remind you a little bit of, of Floyd and make you say, you know what, let me, let, me, let me try and get a little bit of get back from that last fight, just in case I don't get Floyd again. Okay, good question. <laughs> Yeah, because I assume, I assume, you know, if, if that is a fight that, that you do want, then it, it might burn a little bit for you not to get that fight if it never happens. Um, it just happened, I think. Uh, it just happened that Broner is a um, similar style of uh, Floyd Newman. Just coincidence. Coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. <laughs>